Hello children, welcome to science class. In the previous two videos you have studied about air and now in part 3 of the video you will study about water. Let's see the contents of today's video. Today we will study about facts about water, importance of water, types of impurities, removal of insoluble impurities. So let's begin with the video. Some facts about water. Usable water in the world, there is only three-fourth water present on the earth and out of this three-fourth water, 97% of water is in the ocean and contains salt. Remaining 3% is only fresh water which can be used for other purposes. Out of which 1% is river, lakes and groundwater and the remaining 2% is the frozen form of water that is glaciers. Let's go into deep of this part. 97% of the earth's water is salt water that is saline water and which is not fit for drinking and for other purposes and only less than 3% water is fresh water. Can you just imagine that we used to talk about that earth is a planet that supports life because it contains water and out of 3 fourth of the water 97% is not of our use because it's saline only 3% is fresh water which can be used over 68% is frozen in ice caps and glaciers over 31% is found in groundwater and only 0.3% is found on surface so more than 99% of earth's water is unusable by most living organisms now, do you understand that how important it is to save water? Importance of water Almost 71% of earth is covered with water in the form of oceans, rivers, lakes, etc. But very less amount of water is potable that is fit for human consumption. That's why if very less amount of water is used for human consumption, that means we need to save water on an urgent basis. Let's see some more facts regarding water. Water that has no impurity is called pure water. And which is, which is the purest form of water? Rain water is the purest form of water. Pure water is a very important constituent of food. Every cell in our body contains about 90% of water. Necessary to maintain the fluidity of blood, digestion, excretion, maintaining body temperature. And we all know that water is used for our day-to-day -day purposes and day-to-day -day activities like washing, cooking, bathing, etc. What are water impurities? The substances that pollute water are called as water impurities or the substances that make the water unfit for use are called water impurities. Water is being polluted by throwing waste into river due to oil leakage by water transport and there are so many other reasons for the pollution of water. Today we will discuss about the types of impurities and the ways to remove these impurities from water. There are two types of impurities, basically soluble and insoluble. We will discuss about these impurities first. What are soluble impurities? Impurities that can be dissolved in water are called as soluble impurities. For example, salt, sugar or any other chemical that is soluble in water or means it can be easily dissolved in water. Now, insoluble impurities. Impurities that cannot be dissolved in water 
are called as insoluble impurities and we can clearly see these insoluble impurities present in the water with our eyes also for example sand mud chalk powder etc these are some kinds of insoluble impurities which don't dissolve in water so can you just think and answer which type of Im impurity soluble or insoluble can be removed from water easily the answer is insoluble impurities can be very easily removed from water let's see some of the methods definitions of some of the methods for removing insoluble impurities and in this video i will discuss about the methods for the removal of insoluble impurities first method is sedimentation the process of settling or being deposited as a sediment is called as sedimentation and sedimentation is followed by the process of decantation it is the process for the separation of mixtures by removing a layer of liquid generally one from which a precipitate has settled the third is filtration the process of removing something unwanted from a liquid by using a filter let's see them in detail what is sedimentation it can remove large solid particles for example mud like a mixture of sand and water so sand can be easily removed from water by the method of sedimentation it removes large particles and the large particles will settle down in water they will form a layer of sediment at the bottom as you can see in the diagram now in the process of sedimentation there is a chemical called as alum which can be added to this mixture of soil and water so that it will increase the rate of sedimentation i repeat there is a chemical called as alum which is added into the mixture of soil and water or any kind of insoluble impurity so it can increase the rate of sedimentation how it because this chemical alum it will combine to the particles of soil and make it more heavier when the particles or the sediment becomes heavier it will settle down at the bottom at a more quick rate now after a few minutes or maybe a few hours this sediment will set, settle down at the bottom of the beaker and water will be over it so in this way it will be separated decantation once this water is separated and it comes on the top of the sediment that is sediment is lying at the bottom and water is above it we can clearly and easily remove this water by the method of decantation as you can see in the first beaker sedimentation is lying at the bottom and we have taken out by pouring this water into a separate beaker filtration this can remove very fine solid particles fine particles will be trapped where it will be trapped on a filter paper liquid collected under the column is filtrate means the clear liquid which we will receive after this method that is called as the filtrate let's look into the activities by the help of this activities you can easily understand what is the method of sedimentation decantation and filtration sedimentation decantation and filtration in this module you will learn to separate mud from muddy water by sedimentation and separation of clean water by decantation and filtration when the heavier component in a mixture settles the process is called sedimentation after sedimentation the process of removal of water 
above the sediment is called decantation. Separation of finer impurities from the decantate using a filter paper is known as filtration. Take some muddy water in a beaker. It is a mixture of soil and water. Stir this mixture well and leave to settle for half an hour. The mud settles down at the bottom of the beaker by the process of sedimentation. Now, transfer the water at the top of the settled mud by tilting the beaker to another empty, clean beaker. The water thus obtained is called decantate. As the next step, pour the decantate through a tea strainer. This is called filtering. Is it possible to get the clean water after filtering the decantate with the tea strainer? No, the tea strainer is not able to filter the fine particles as you see the filtrate. It is not clear and contains mud. See, the water obtained is to be filtered with a fine cloth. Some mud has deposited on the cloth, but the water obtained after filtration still contains mud. A filter paper which can separate the fine particles of mud from the water. A filter paper has smaller pores than cloth and hence can be used for this purpose. Place the filter paper in the funnel and pour the water obtained after filtration with cloth. Look at the filter paper after filtration. You can see that fine particles of mud are deposited on the filter paper and the filtrate obtained is free from impurity. In this module, you have learnt that when the heavier component in a mixture settles, the process is called sedimentation. The process of removal of water above the sediment is called decantation. Separation of finer impurities from the decantate using a filter paper is known as filtration. The use of a filter paper is a better choice for effective filtration as it has small pores. So I hope children with the help of these activities and my explanation it will be very clear to you about these methods. In the next video I will explain you how you can remove soluble impurities from a mixture of salt and water subscribe to my channel for quick updates on my next videos thank you for watching